All right, what is up, guys? This is Chris, aka No Risk No Premium. Hey, today is uh, 1 6 2022. We are doing a Thirsty Thursday Lotto watch list. I uh, apologize for not being on a call today. I had some unexpected things come up, so I'm just fitting this in here very, very quickly. Uh, but I did want to get this out to you guys. I think it's important for tomorrow. I um, know we have a game plan set and we're ready to go. Um, first, quick recap. So, what happened today? Today, we had pretty much a test uh, of the 50 day moving average. You look right here, this red line. Um, this is the daily of spy. We had a 50 day moving average test and we held. Okay, we held. That's good. Now we have a spinning top candle, which is basically what? It is buying pressure from both ends. Basically, you can see here, bulls pushed it up, right? Bears took it down, bulls brought it back, and then they closed right here. So a super thin body couldn't pick a direction. And that's where we're at right now, guys. There's no, it's definitely going lower. It's definitely going higher. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen tomorrow. I have no goddamn idea, okay? The meme stocks are running. Who knows what the fuck happens tomorrow, okay? So don't be a hero and don't say, we're definitely going up. We're definitely going down, okay? We have no idea. Because there is no clear trend, you have to play the momentum, meaning, we have to make sure we break yesterday's high or yesterday's low, or we could stay in the range, okay? And you know what happens when we stay in a range. It's very hard to trade, and we don't want that. But I do want to point out a few notable things, okay, is this. One, we had a 50-day moving average test, and it held. That's good. Next is this, that insane run-up that we had, right, from that bottom, 451, all the way up here to 479.97, almost 480. Look where we retraced to. We had a 50% retracement. That's pretty fucking interesting to me. Okay. That is pretty interesting. So this, these are my thoughts. Okay. These are my thoughts here. We're either going to break to the upside, okay, to get to 472-ish, okay, maybe 473, or we break to the downside and we retrace to the 61.8 level, which is very po popular, which is about 462, which also happens to be where another big level is that we've had in the past, okay, about 462, okay? That's it. Very simple. Do not overcomplicate it, okay? Today we said what? We said if not through, right, 470 today, we're going to go lower. And that's what happened this morning, right? We took that trade this morning. Uh you know, we didn't get through 470, right? So we went lower. Then we couldn't get through that 470, 89 that we have. And then we just went range down. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be looking for. Well, here, let me show you real quick. Uh, this is my second screen. Okay, so this is ES on top here. These are the S&P futures. And I stacked them on top of SPY. So I, excuse me, so I could see them both. And I also put an active trader right here next to them. So I could put calls up top and puts on the bottom. Right. So it allows me to see um, what I can uh, or what the premium is on both of those. Now, check this out. We had four, seven. Uh, I said 4712 was huge. 4712, 4712, 4712. We did not get through that. We had a fake out, breakout, and back down and into the range. Right. So that's the same thing here. We need through 460, I'm sorry, 4661 to the downside. Right. We need through that level and pretty much 4620 comes next, which is pretty much about 462 on spot, right? Would make sense. Okay. Would make sense. So you're going to have to look what, where can we go? Okay. And you're going to have to, we're going to have to play the breakout so we can, we can play the breakout. Okay. There's a few ways to play it, right guys. We can play the breakout or in the morning when we see a direction getting picked, right? We can play calls up to where we know the resistance is, or we can play puts down to where we know the support is, okay? But you play the style that you're most comfortable with. If you're more comfortable at buying at support and writing it back up, right? Like Trell did today, right? He bought at support and wrote it back up. Then he sold where? At resistance. Just like this morning when we it popped, we said it's not going to get through 470. You see right here, the candle stopped on the 15 minute. And then we saw some blood and that's when I went short. That's when I went short because we bought the top. The top was the local top. And then it went, it went down, what, shit, 40 points almost, 35 points, okay? So that makes me, that, that makes me want to address the second thing too. So when I say the 30-minute rule is in full effect, okay, the 30-minute rule is this. 
Let the market tell you what it's going to do. Don't get caught on the fake out in the first five minutes because look what happens in the first five minutes. Sometimes, and this is sometimes. Uh, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. What the hell? What the fuck just happened? Okay, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but it's making me scroll like forever. Okay, so hold on. I apologize, guys. This is weird. My brokerage is acting very weird. Even though I go to 15, okay, this is what I want. Can we do five? Why does it take me? Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but just bear with me. Let me scroll the fuck out of my mouse and get us over there because this is really annoying. Okay, so we made it. So what happened this morning, right? We went up super high and then we were like, oh, we, we could have gotten caught off sides on the initial because actually the market went down. God, don't set me back that far. Did it set me back? You, oh no. God, God. So we had, this is today, right? This is one six, yeah. So initially we had the pop higher, then it went down lower, right? So you could have been like, oh my God, it's gonna go lower. And then it went higher, right? So you could get caught off sides. But if we know, guys, if the plan is, the, the, like we're gonna trade the plan, if the plan is 470, we're saying if it doesn't get through 470, okay, we're gonna go short, right? We're gonna play puts, okay? Now you, you say that, and you want to use the 30 minute rule when you want to confirm, confirm where we're gonna go and not get caught in any chop fest. Now, if that plan, that trade plan comes to fruition, meaning the setup comes before the first 30 minutes, then we have confirmed our plan. And that's when we play, okay? Because I know some people were hesitant on, oh my God, it's before the 30 minutes, I'm not gonna play it even though it's there and it's at my level. You either have the 30 minute rule or you have your trade plan. Like if it, if it would have gone down to, I mean, let's say, let's say your trade plan was okay. At the overnight lows was 466. You're like, okay, if that comes first, okay, then I'm going to play that, right? I'm going to play that first. And which it actually came in the first 30 minutes. Well, first hour or I'm sorry, 15, 30, 45. So it came. But like, let's say you were like, I'm going to play at 467. That came in the first 30 minutes, but it got down there quickly. If it would have gone straight down there and then we ripped up, you could have played that support before the 30 minute rule expired. The 30 minute rule is used when it just chops in the middle of support and resistance and it's not showing you where we're going to go. So you, you take the time and be patient. You don't get caught offside. You don't blow your load, right? And you wait until we get to the level. All right. So I just wanted to clarify that you do the 30 minute rule so you can wait for the plan of the trade to set up. Then you play it. Now, if it comes before that, like it did today in the first 15 minutes, it ripped the fuck up. I think it ripped there in like the first five minutes, really. I mean, it got there. It got to four set in 10 minutes. OK, then in 15 minutes, it was there. And then we had this candle come down. Okay, now I was actually watching the 15 this morning. So when I saw we went up and we didn't hold and then we had some red to retrace, the moment they kind of brought it back up, I got in and then they dropped it out. Okay, so that's how we played that. Now, with that being said, I just wanted to clarify that. Okay, you do the 30 minute rule unless the actual setup comes to fruition that you plan, that you plan. Okay, that you plan. Now, tomorrow, what's going to happen? I don't fucking know. I wish if I, if I knew, guys, I would be loaded to that side, right? Everyone's like, oh, what are we doing? What's going on tomorrow? Like, we go high, we go. I'm like, fuck, if you think I fucking knew, I'd be fucking rich. Every night, if I knew which night, we're, what, what way we're opening, I would just load the fuck out of that side, obviously, okay? So we have no idea. And you don't want to start saying, we're definitely going to do this, we're going to do that, because you don't want any fucking biases. You don't want to get caught off sides. You don't, what in the fuck? Sorry. 
Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do though, right? I'm gonna be looking at, um, and I think guys, this is really weird. I think TD is a letting you trade SPX 24 hours, but only for like some of their certain accounts because the volume is reset from earlier today and it's already showing these new contracts that are being bought. So that is interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, if we look at the open interest, Okay, to me, the open interest looks a lot more interesting on this side. I mean, look at all of the thousands, 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 thousands. We've had hundreds here. Okay, hundreds, right? It just looks like we're a little bit loaded to the more to the downside. Now, this could be hedges. I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea. But what I am gonna do is if I know that 4712 has to break on ES, that means that's about 4720 for SPX, okay? Now we have 47.25 has some good open interest. I'm gonna buy these. And if 47.12 um, breaks, there's could have possibility if we have buyers to get to 47.40, which is 474 on SPY. So that's 47.50 SPX, okay? So I'm gonna go Friday Lottos and then no wonder set 47.50, what I said it can get to has good open interest. I'm gonna put these in there too, okay? And just like I did that, I'm gonna come down here and go, okay, I know, I know if the low breaks, which was 4661, okay, 4661, then we can go way lower. Well, 4650 has good open interest. We go to 4620, I'm gonna throw these, okay. And I'm gonna throw the, da -da -da. 47.30, no, I want the 47.25. It uh, just depends where we open. You might need to add more strikes at the open, guys, So I have no idea where we're gonna open. I mean, currently we're up eight, we're up 20. We could be down 30. I mean, who knows? Who knows where we're gonna open? No idea. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I got to, to the wrong one. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, not FMC, yeah. So, okay, throw those in there, okay. I will personally, I'll probably buy I'll probably add these closer strikes because they're gonna be cheaper in the, in the morning. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get 4780 yeah, or 4680. 